Tom, if you would, we've been talking to a number of people today, We're talking about things that they need just in case things go, go totally right. Okay. We're in an electronic age now. Flat panels are everywhere, glass screens, it's all wonderful, but sometimes things happen. Sometimes you need a backup. Sometimes you need, well, a standby. Standby instruments. I, I think that you're actually in a good position. Tell us what you got. All right. Well, we have the Lifesaver Gyro. It's the 4300 series with battery backup. What's nice about this particular unit here is that with the battery backup, if you do experience electrical failure, the battery kicks on and provides the unit with power for about one hour worth of time. Should be enough time to safely land and uh, find out what the issue was with the power interruption. Well, 60 minutes gives you pretty much time to get out of just about anything at that stage of the game. Uh, where has the need come from? I mean, we've seen these on jets for a long time. Why wasn't this part of the standard package for everybody the minute that they started to go in glass panel? This would seem to make perfect sense. Well, we're seeing our sales increase just because of the usage of glass panel uh, units. A lot of the pilots feel that it's, it's nice to have all that redundancy with the glass panel displays, but they still want a traditional electromechanical instrumentation. I think with our technology now, the battery size is a little bit lower or uh, smaller in size and less weight where it's easy to go ahead and accommodate that type of standby uh, backup power. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. This, is, this was your lead-off product for a number of uh, standby products, so we understand now that you've got an emergency power supply and you're also extending this technology to a number of other products in the product line. Could you just talk about those for a moment? Well, what we're looking at right now is new technology with battery systems. This particular unit here is a unit that we just announced at the last MBAA show. And the small size allows us to power either our 2-inch or our 3-inch attitude indicator and also provide power to light the standby attitude indicator, I'm sorry, altimeter and airspeed indicator. And uh, it's currently not being used in any OEM installations forward fit, but aftermarket installations are uh, doing very well with this type of battery system. Down on the 2-inch the indicators that we manufacture are really catching on with a lot of the very light jets. The Citation Mustang is using our 2-inch attitude indicator. Um, Adams is using it right now on the A500 and the A700. And then we also have uh, a couple of other OEMs interested in using it in some of their upcoming very light jets. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Well, as the move continues toward all electric airplanes, possibly one of the most intriguing aspects of what you have here is if this is literally a hardened system. No matter what happens to an electrical system in an aircraft, it has nothing to do with these standby applications. No matter what happens, battery goes, electrical system's down, both buses kill, it doesn't matter. This is an isolated, hardened system. Can't touch it. That is correct. The battery definitely offers the additional safety and redundancy that you would like in a system. One of the cases that we heard is that a lot of these airplanes today have so much built-in redundancy that why do you really need a battery? One perfect example is if you had smoke in the cockpit, what's the pilot's first reaction? Basically to kill the electrical uh, supply to find out where that smoke is coming from. In that case, this particular unit right here, the battery would continue to power the attitude indicator to at least give the uh, pilot an attitude reference so that he could go ahead and troubleshoot the other systems but still keep the airplane uh, straight and level. Well, Midcontinent has taken a leadership position here. Anything else on the horizon in the way of standby applications? 
Well, right now we're uh, trying to focus on some of the new battery technology, and I think that uh, you'll have to stand by and uh, <laughs> wait for an announcement at MBAA this year. We look forward to seeing you there. All right. Thank you, Jim.